Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in October so that you can plan accordingly. Okay, so in your current energy, um, Pisces, it's the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups could represent someone who's a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this is someone with this youthful energy. It could be a message coming to you. It could be an opportunity for a relationship of some sorts. Um, it's certainly an indication of creativity. We see the fish within the cup here, and that indicates um, that October could be a month of doing something creative for yourself or for your enjoyment. But this is youthful energy of um, emotions, romantic um, poetic kind of people coming into your life. So you may very well meet someone who has uh, a good heart, who's loving and kind, and uh, is fun to be with. And hopefully uh, it is not too emotionally immature, but someone, you know, this is a youthful, youthful energy, a youthful approach at where you are right now of of looking at life, looking through it with a kind and compassionate and sensitive heart. And um, it's the potential for a relationship, a message maybe that a relationship is coming to you with a, with a water sign. What's crossing you is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is about finding balance and juggling many responsibilities. So you may be very busy with, with your life, work, family, other commitments that you have to honor. You might be working hard to generate extra income, or you may just be trying to balance um, the dynamic of friendships and finding time to fit people in. But this is a card about balance and of juggling and juggling and thinking about, um, you know, your situation. And if you look in the back of this card, in the back of this illustration, you can see the ships are on some pretty big waves. And so, you know, we go through these peaks and valleys of life where we have to pay more attention to maybe our budget or what we spend or how we allocate our time. Uh, so some days it's, sometimes it's easier, some weeks are easier, some months are easier. And other times it's like, wow, I need to get a hang a hold of this because I'm tired. And so that's something to think about with the two is just finding the balance um, between all of the activity and the chaos or the busyness within your life. In your foundation is the five of wands. And this is typically a card of conflict or of arguments petty arguments, competition, clashing of egos. So maybe this is occurring in a family situation where you're just arguing more than you typically do. Could be on a work project where you are working together and not working toward uh, the common goal the best way that you could. So it's something that has been been on your mind is this, uh, this conflict here, this... Um, Disharmony. Really, the Five of Wands is about disharmony. In your recent past is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a great card. First, it's an ace, so it's a gift or blessing from the universe. Secondly, this is a card of abundance, and it's a card of abundance not only materially, but it's also of good health and your spirituality is in balance. So it's really the abundance of all elements and aspects of your life. So the Ace of Pentacles is um, telling you that, uh, that you've had some prosperity and that you have some, you've been able maybe to save a little bit of money or at least get ahead of things in terms of your finances. But this is a card of potential windfall now maybe that windfall is winning a $2 lottery ticket, or maybe it's someone paying you back, or maybe it's someone 
uh, paying you for an unexpected job to do. So this is uh, a great card of abundance and of, you know, take action. Use the, the pragmatic approach of, of approach of pentacles in how you view your finances, your career, your ideas. You just can't sit on your ideas. You do have to have an approach. You do have to take action in order to make things manifest, in order to bring prosperity or abundance into your life. What's crowning you is justice. We see the person here sitting on the throne with a scale in one hand and a sword decisively raised in the other hand. And so this is a sense of October may be a month where you need to pay attention to binding contracts, statements that you make, emails that you send. Just be careful with how you sign off on things. Pay extra attention to those. There may be legal matters that pop up. Often this is a card related to fairness. And so uh, it's the situation that you're dealing with that's most important to you. You know, are things going down in a fair sense? You know, is, are you getting a fair shake? Maybe you're not getting a fair shake, but this justice card is telling you to, to pay attention to the equity of the situations within, uh, you know, your immediate life that uh, uh, you either have to pay close attention to any contracts or uh, employment contracts or anything that you're having written down um, formally. So if you're sending out a correspondence, just be careful with how you present it and make sure that you state exactly how you want to state it. What's coming up for you? What's in your future is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Page of Wands, again, is youthful energy that has enthusiasm and desire to learn and to try new things, to be active, to jump right in. There's passion and it's for living life and to have fun. So in your, uh, in your near future, you have a desire to have some fun. You want to go out and do things and maybe it's something new for you. Maybe you want to learn how to sail. Maybe you want to learn how to play racquetball. Maybe you want to travel. But whatever it is, it's having that youthful appreciation and the energy to get started and to say, hey, I'm really, I'm up for this. I'd like to go and, and to pursue it. This, this could also, court cards can also represent people within your life. So this could be someone youthful again, uh, wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius within your life who is active, a go-getter, uh, really has a zest for life. So where you are right now is the lovers. And the lovers is Gemini. And this lovers card is about finding a soulmate and someone who is uh, going to provide a long-term deep emotional connection. So this deep emotional connection is someone that makes you happy, that you're passionate about, that you can communicate well with, that you respect. It's really the epitome of a strong, strong relationship. So you are either in a strong relationship, you're dating someone that could lead to a strong relationship, or you're perhaps dating and hoping to find that really meaningful relationship. In your environment, again, we see the Ten of Pentacles, which has been turning up in several of the uh, signs for October is this sense about home. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is about the legacy of family and of making sure the family has finances and security and stability. And this, there are a lot of pentacles here. And so this family, from the patriarch to the couple, to the children, to the pets, they're enjoying abundance. They have quite a bit. And so they're enjoying the material comforts. And so this can be that maybe you're saving, you're doing a great job saving. Maybe you're meeting with someone within your family who has good business sense and that can help you uh, improve your financial standing. But this is really thinking about 
could be thinking about an estate. It could relate to taking care of elderly parents or grandparents that need assistance. So there's a sense of stability at the home front with the Ten of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears, you have the Four of Swords. And Swords relates to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this is a timeout. This is taking a respite from whatever situation you've been involved in. It doesn't mean that the situation is going to disappear when you wake up or you get back into it. But you may go back into it from a better perspective where you're rested. You may get back into it with, uh, you know, having a sense of recovery because this is a card about restoring your health, restoring your energy, restoring your mindset. It's really taking a time out from whatever's going on, whether you're involved in prayer, meditation, relaxation, you know, yoga, there's a, there's a modality for you to, to get yourself into a rested place so that you can get back into whatever situation that has been draining you to deal appropriately. And in your outcome, again, fabulous, you have the Ten of Cups. Cups, Cancer, Sp Scorpio, Pisces. This represents a happy family, happy community. It's really, uh, if this is what you want in life, which is to have children and to have a, a partner, a long-term partner, to have friends in the community, they're very grateful for abundance. And so this abundance of having happiness at home and joy, this goes very well with the Lover's card, and the Ten of Pentacles. So in October for you, Pisces, this is a sense of really, whoops, of um, relationships being in the mix and happiness and contentedness with the Ten of Cups, with the Lovers, with the Page of Cups, which is the the opportunity or the messenger of emotional connection with prosperity and abundance with the ace of pentacles you have a little bit of conflict arguments you can always deal with arguments you can always deal with uh, pettiness at the office you know you can let it, let it ride for a few days and then move on and then there's a sense in October just to pay attention to contracts, things, emails, whatever you're sending out, just double check what you're sending that you agree with it. It's also a sense of fairness. You may have to think about the equity within a situation. Are you being treated fairly or are you treating someone else fairly in a situation? You have room in the future to pursue some passions, some enthusiastic behaviors to jump right in, get involved, don't sit back. This is the, the encouragement to get out there and to do. And again, the lovers, the ten of pentacles, deep relationships, family leading to, whoops, there we go, family stability with the ten of pentacles, resting, Recovering, get back in, and ultimately the outcome, the Ten of Cups, which is about happiness and joy and community and the love of children and being grateful for what you have. So let's take a look at the a love card to get a little extra information for love for you since it is really showing up in your reading, Pisces. Okay. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, when you're open to love and when you're open to having relationships, you know, good things happen in the form of this lover's card. And the universe, when it senses that you're ready, will send someone else who's also looking and is also ready. So this is beautiful. And again, even though this is the Ace of Pentacles, there's a sense of spiritually 
happy as well, of finding prosperity. It's a lot of prosperity in your reading here, and it could be not only financial prosperity, but it's the prosperity of family and strength of family and happiness within a family. And finally, let's pull one more card to get a sense of a practice area for October for you Pisces. Spirit animal, thank you animal kingdom for blessing my path with love. Well, let's focus on the blessing, uh, the animal kingdom path with love. It could be the love of your cat, your fish, your dog, your horse, whatever it may be. Goats, I love goats. And so uh, whatever your spirit animal may be, it's just be, be grateful, be appreciative. There's so many ways to show love in life. There's so many ways to show gentleness and kindness. And um, when you are able to be kind and loving to an animal, then you are able to be kind and loving to a human. So it goes without saying, bring in animals to make your life feel fuller and to feel uh, really such uh, increased love within your life. So Pisces, I think this is a great reading for you. I think you're going to have an awesome October. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, or comment. I love to engage, so leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you are new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It's a great way to show support and to stay connected. And if you have time and energy, I do daily tarot readings and I do um, a weekly oracle forecast for mind, body, spirit that you can check out every Sunday. So thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it and I wish you the very best in October. Thank you and bye-bye.